Hey guys, Farak here. Okay, this video is going to be a little interesting. I'm going to explain to you why I made my YouTube channel and what the whole purpose of all this is. Okay, so Battleforge, I don't know the exact number, has something around one and a half to 2,000 active users now. I know that if you look at the top 200 rankings for PvP, it's better now than when I started, and when I started, even Banes were in the top 200. But still, having Battle Masters in the top 200 means that there are not enough really high-skilled players. I mean, I don't think. I mean, I can't compare it to games like League of Legends or Dota or stuff like that because the the player base is just so much more massive. Anyhow, the point is, and the reason I made the videos were to improve players new players and players who are already playing for a while and were about Fury Bane level. And I wanted to bring them up to, you know, Grandmaster Ruler level as fast as possible. The idea was that if we get more players to get better at Battleforge, they're going to be more excited about it. They'll get more players. We'll have a ton of really good players. In general, the player base will grow, which means that EA will have a faster and steadier income they'll put more money into the game we'll see more maps uh you know better cards maybe even an entirely new edition maybe they'll actually make shadow nature car nature cards they'll they'll do patches more often it would just be a better experience for everybody you know who knows maybe we'd even see a battle forge too but right now ea feels that this game sort of is failing and i understand that because having a thousand five hundred players in an online game is just insane they still have to pay developers and for their servers. So I made this channel hoping that players won't get discouraged when they're so new and they'll be able to get to really high ranks quickly and then they'll feel like it's a game they're good at and they'll stick around for longer. Um, in general, I think my plan has been working. I think most of you have improved their rank a lot and I'm happy to hear that. And you all uh, very often either mail me in-game or whisper to me that you're doing much better and I appreciate that. What I think I'm going to do and... Uh, it was kind of Trixie's idea. Trixie's a new player, and he's very excited about making tournaments and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to have either contests or some sort of, you know, some sort of reward system where I reward you all, not just for, you know, participating in tournaments or watching my videos, but perhaps for even recruiting new players. So I don't know the details. I'm just brainstorming here, but I'm thinking something like, you know, maybe if everybody who gets four to five new players and they subscribe to me and post on YouTube that they're new players, I'll enter them for a raffle to win, let's say, a Fire Dancer promo. Or maybe, you know, everybody who gets 10 players, I'll give a, a Razor Leaf promo. I'll, I'll raffle off. I'm not sure entirely. Also, Trixie and I are working on a, uh, a tournament, which is not yet in the making. We're both going to donate a lot of money towards it. And it's going to be a tournament that's new user friendly as well. Most tournaments now, by the second or third round, everybody who's not in the top 100 are out. And by the third and fourth round, it's just down to the top 10 players. And it's the same thing every time. This new tournament's going to give every player, even the really new players, every player is going to have at least five matches to play. And only the really top players are going to have seven matches. So it's going to be much more user friendly and the rewards are going to be much more general. Uh, so that's my idea. You know, you can write in the comments what you think or any advice. You can mail me if you have any ideas, uh, if you want to donate or whatever. But in general, I just really want to, the player base for the, the player base for this game to grow. You know, maybe even if it grew enough, EA would start advertising more for the game. And once that happens, I think the game would skyrocket because there really is no game like this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.